how this is a quick video to um, coincide with the shift knob upgrade on a 2001 330i um, BMW sedan. Um, my car is an E46 and E46 cars before 2002 had um, a different plate where um, positive was up there and negative was down there. The shift knob I upgraded um, with is from a 2009 uh, well, facelift uh, 5 series from 2008 onwards have these knobs for the sport um, sport Steptronic package um, comes with come with these knobs. Also, the new Z4 have these knobs in the sports package uh, Z4 um, Steptronic cars. Um, and this knob also has the pos the negative above the positive. Um, if your car is a 2001 or older, your plate will not match that, and your the way your your Steptronic box shifts in M mode will not match positive um, to pull back and negative uh, dunk shift to push forward. Um, so you're going to have to upgrade by getting this um, a plate. You get one off eBay for like $40 or buy <coughs> Craigslist from some anyone for like $20 $40 these run for. All you need is the plate and and under the plate all you have to do is switch there's two wires on that thing in the middle it's a blue and a purple wire. Also, you can also switch, um, like I did in my write-up, I switched, the, instead of on this side, I switched on the, the female side of this connector, I switched the two middle wires, which is I think a blue-yellow and a solid blue uh, or blue-green wire. Just the two middle wires you switch. You can switch either side, only one side. And once you switch that, um, your 2001 older um, E46 um, BMW car will shift like this plate demonstrates and this knob demonstrates. So I'll just do that real quick. So I'm going to shift the car into drive and I'm going to shift it into sport as you can see there and I'm going to go into manual mode so I'm going to go back one and it's two. I'm going to go back again and it's going up to three. The car is correcting itself actually. I forgot Steptronics. Um, the Steptronic has a safety feature that allows you from shifting the wrong way. So I'm gonna shift up, shift back a couple of times, goes into four. It's gonna correct to go back to two. I'm just gonna shift down, and you see it goes from two to one. So it matches up with the plate there, and um, it matches up with the new knob that I um, put in the car. So that's it. That's it. Um, shift back, and put it in the park. Um, I'm happy with this, the write-up. Also, cleaned up my, um, my console area. I, I used plastic dip, a uh, $5 can at uh, Home Depot. And I removed all this and sprayed it to make it look new. And also coated this area. Because the one I bought, it, it was um, very old. Not old, but it was um, just worn. The rubber pieces were peeling. So I just plastic dipped all around that to make it look, you know, fairly new and match the rest of the interior of my car. Um, which is weird because when you put this in, when I put this in, I realized you have a new knob from like a 2010 car in a 2001 car and every all your other trim around it sort of look kind of older than it did before with the wooden knob in there. So, you know, it's just part of a uh, regular maintenance of, of these cars. And I'm happy with everything. The only thing left for this write-up is to figure out the ground for this um, knob. I have the power. Um, the wires for the power to power this. Um, basically, this mimics the indicator plate, and I was already know the power for it, but I don't know which wire um, is for the ground. There's like five mystery wires. I have to figure that out. Um, also, going to probably ask for help <laughs> from someone else that's better with wiring than I am. And once I have that, this knob will light up and work um, just like it does on a, on a newer car. Um, and it's a smooth knob. It's not too big. It's it's nice easy to shift up and down um, no problems with this I love it it's in the car and I think I'm gonna leave that in for a while because um, I kept my old knob because I was thinking maybe if it didn't work out I was just gonna put it back in there but I'm really happy with this um, oh, that's my reverse sensors because I'm in reverse first gear so um, so that's it for right now um,